So many people do the keto diet so they could get fat adapted, but how do you know if you're burning fat instead of sugar? This video is going to outline five signs to pay attention to so you can know if you're truly fat adapted. My name is Ben Azadi. I am the best selling author of Keto Flex and I'm the founder of Keto Camp and I'm excited to get into these five signs to pay attention to. This is exactly what we've used with thousands and thousands of our students to help them identify if they're burning fat instead of sugar. We call this being fat adapted. First thing I want to mention is that there's a difference between being fat adapted and keto adapted. Fat adaptation occurs to different spectrums and different degrees depending on how much you've lowered your carbohydrate intake. And you could get fat adapted in 7 to 21 days and I'm going to share with you signs to know if you are, but keto adaptation takes a little bit longer. Keto adaptation represents a more comprehensive reshaping of many physiological symptoms, including your mitochondria. And that typically occurs eight to 12 weeks after you've been in this nutritional ketosis. So we're not gonna get into keto adaptation, we're going to get into fat adaptation. Why do we wanna burn fat instead of sugar? Why do you wanna be fat adapted? Well, most people are not fat adapted. They're sugar burners, they're burning sugar. And if you wanna age fast and wreck your metabolism and cause your body to store fat, burn sugar, don't be fat adapted. There was a study that came out from the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill in 2018. 10 year study, over 8,000 people in the study and their goal was to determine, okay, how healthy or how unhealthy is the adult American population? They looked at different metrics of health like BMI, blood pressure, A1C, on meds, off meds, how many meds are they taking? And they came to the conclusion that 88% of American adults are metabolically unhealthy. They're essentially sugar burners. And that was before COVID. Do you think it got better or worse after COVID? Of course, it got worse. They are in a keto deficiency. They really need to be fat adapted. So let's get into the five signs for you to know if you're fat adapted or not. The last sign is the most important one and the most accurate sign to pay attention to, so make sure you stick around for the last tip. The first sign of fat adaptation is mental clarity. If you've been struggling with brain fog and remembering people's names, maybe you walk into the kitchen to get something and you think, what did I walk in here for? Where did I put my keys? Very common to have brain fog. And when you have been doing ketosis and burning fat, those ketones get to the brain and it gives you some peak mental clarity. You also remember people's names. You start remembering things that you used to forget. And that's because you're burning fat instead of sugar. So you might be able to read books better and concentrate uh, your meetings better. Or just have more of a presence. That is a sign that you're burning fat instead of sugar and you're getting ketones into the brain. The second sign is that you have more energy. We know this, ketones are signaling molecules that actually communicate with your mitochondria to produce more energy, more ATP, which is adenosine triphosphate. So think of the mitochondria as this factory that produces energy, and that energy it produces is this energy currency called ATP. When we study the electron transport chain, which is how your cells and your metabolism produces energy, we know that when you're burning sugar and not burning fat, you produce about 32 to 36 ATP molecules. Somebody who's fat adapted, hopefully you, gets about 400% more ATP, more energy when they're fat adapted, when they're burning fat instead of sugar. That's because ketones signal to your mitochondria, they kind of stress them to produce more mitochondria. It's called mitogenesis. And with the creation of new mitochondria, there's the creation of more ATP, more energy. So you feel more energized. Instead of having that afternoon energy slump, your energy levels are stable because glucose and insulin is stable and you're getting the mitochondria to produce more energy. You wake up refreshed. You don't get those lulls, those roller coaster hits of energy that go up and down. That is a huge sign that you're fat adapted. You have more sustainable energy throughout the day. The third sign that you're fat adapted is that there's no need to snack anymore. You were in the habit of snacking on your handful of almonds or macadamia nuts or protein bars and protein shakes in between your meals, but you feel so satiated and full that you naturally just have your three meals a day and you find yourself you're not snacking anymore. That is a sign that you're fat adapted. And when you're fat adapted, some cool things happen physiologically. Your body produces more hormones and chemicals like cholecystokinin, leptin, and peptide YY. These are hormones and signals to your brain, 
your stomach, that you're full, you're satiated, there's no need to wander into the kitchen or wander to the pantry and start snacking. You're just feeding off your body fat. That is a huge sign that you are now fat adapted. No snacking in between your meals, thumbs up. If you were not fat adapted and you were still burning sugar, you would still have those hunger signals tell you, go eat some food, go snack on something to sustain your energy level. So if you're not experiencing that anymore, that's a good sign that you're burning fat instead of sugar. The fourth sign that you're fat adapted is that you're losing body fat. The weight is coming off. When we talked about the mitochondria producing more ATP, when that happens with ketosis, it raises your basal metabolic rate. The value of that is that you burn more calories without actually having to track calories or exercise to get that effect. Super cool. And when you're fat adapted, you're now accessing your stored body fat, which is stored energy, and your body starts mobilizing that, using that for fuel, and those fatty acids are sent to your liver and then your liver produces ketones. That is a byproduct of fat metabolism when you have ketones flowing through your body and the weight comes off. And you could gauge this by, yeah, the number on the scale is one way, it's not the most important way, but the way you look, you look leaner, you look fitter, your clothes are fitting better. Take some photos, these are things to pay attention to because it won't always show up on the scale, but you'll see it visually. And that is a huge sign that you're fat adapted and burning fat instead of sugar and you got ketones flowing through your bloodstream. The fifth way to know if you're fat adapted is an important method, but also the bonus tip is the most accurate way to know. So I'm gonna to get to those in a second, but if you're getting any value from this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We release brand new videos here on this channel every week, Monday, Tuesday, I go live every Wednesday, and then Friday is a new video, and then YouTube shorts all along the way. So hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and share this channel with your friends as well. The fifth way to know if you're fat adapted, are you ready for this? You skip a meal, maybe accidentally, and you feel good. You didn't even notice it. You, you felt like a rock star. You just powered through your day. Your body's designed to burn fat to sustain you for when there's no food. There's nothing new about keto. It might be nuanced or new to you or new to your friends, but let's face it, keto is not a diet. Keto is a metabolic process, and it's been around for as long as humans have existed. Our ancestors all did keto. They are designed to go through this metabolic process. When they didn't have food readily available, they had to burn fat, body fat, stored energy. So you might find yourself maybe skipping breakfast or skipping lunch, and you feel good. Your body is just raising your ketones up. You're just shrinking your fat cells. That's a huge sign that you're fat adapted, and I congratulate you if you're able to do that. If you're already doing intermittent fasting and you feel good, huge sign that you're fat adapted. Now you wanna look at your markers for glucose and ketones, and I'll get to that in a second with the bonus tip, but the opposite is true. If you skip a meal and you get hangry, hungry and angry, or what Dave Asprey calls hypoglybitchy, that's a sign you're a sugar burner. So give it a test. One of the best things you can do to see how healthy your metabolism is, skip a meal and see how you feel. If you skip that meal and you feel awful, that's a sign you're burning sugar, not fat, your metabolism needs some work. But if you skip a meal and feel good, that's a sign you're a fat burner and you're doing the right thing. Bonus tip. Now, those were five methods that you could pay attention to without having to buy anything to look at, test, et cetera. But I would say this, the most accurate way to know if you're burning fat instead of sugar is to test your blood glucose and your blood ketones. I'm not a big fan of urine ketone strips, I do like some breath ketone meters like Biosense, but the gold standard here is blood ketones and blood glucose. I use Keto Mojo. I love them. All of my Keto Camp Academy students use them. You can get their machine over at ketocampmachine.com with the coupon code KETOCAMP at a discount. And here's what I want you to test for. You're gonna experiment with skipping breakfast. And what you're gonna do is when you wake up in the morning, take your blood glucose and ketones with the Keto Mojo, it's a finger prick, you put it into the machine, you get your levels, and then you're gonna continue fasting. And right before you break your fast, let's say you break your fast at lunchtime, 12, right before you break it, test your blood glucose and ketones again. Here's what you wanna see. You wanna see glucose trending down during the fast and ketones trending up. That is the most accurate way to know if you're burning fat instead of sugar. If you don't see that, if you see your glucose rising during a fast and ketones dropping or being non-existent, it means you still got some work to do. 
Uh, and there's a couple of reasons why that might happen. Maybe you're under a lot of stress. Maybe you didn't get great sleep last night. Maybe it's your body releasing stored glucose from your liver and your muscle cells. But the ultimate test is to see that right trend of glucose dropping during a fast and ketones rising. If you see that, you're burning fat, keep at it until we get you into keto adaptation. And I'll make a video about keto adaptation later on this channel, so stay tuned for that. So what were your findings? Out of the five methods to pay attention to and the bonus tip for tracking, did you hit all six of them? Like you're, you know you're fat burning, you're fat adapted, or is there some work to do? How many of them did you say yes to? How many of them did you say no to? Let me know with your score down below. Follow my channel to learn more about getting fat adapted, keto adapted. As a matter of fact, watch the video on the screen right there to take this lesson to another level. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you in that next video.